Hello? Yeah, it's Bob. Romanian orphanage? No. No, I, I just do Africa. Look, I, no, I'm not being selfish. Please don't use that language with me. Thanks very much, pal. Sorry to disturb you, Sir Bob. Just Bob is OK, thanks. Of course, sir. Bob, uh, I, uh, I need the toilet, sir. There's a motel just up here. No problem. I'm just going to try and get some sleep. I won't disturb you again, sir. I mean, Bob. Yeah, whatever. You have my word. Tell you what, love, it's the last time I do this gig. Nothing happens. Same old rubbish. They couldn't even get Keith Chegwin. I mean, Keith Chegwin. Oh, spare some change, mate. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I haven't got a penny on me. I am. Um, can you tell me where I am? Mate, you're in Long Marston, dearie. About 60 miles east of Kirkby. In Lancashire. Up north. All oh, right, yeah. Um, do you have a payphone I could use? Or... Sorry, residence only. Is there a police station or something around here? No, Barry and Trevor are here if you need a copper, but I don't think they'll take too kindly to being hauled out of their glad racks on the day off. Is something wrong? Yeah, listen, um, I'm, uh, I'm on my way north to do a, a, a Make Poverty History gig. My driver went off without me and he thinks I'm still in the back of the car and all my stuff is there, my wallet and phone and all that. And I'd appreciate if I could use the phone, make a call or two. I'm Bob Geldof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of people having chauffeur trouble today. Bob, you can't stop asking people for their fucking money. Hey! <laughs> no, I guess not. Oh, you are good. Yeah, I'll tell you what, love, here's a couple of quid. Go and use the phone by the ladies' bog, round by the big hole, and if anybody asks, tell them Patsy Klein let you OK. Right, thanks. Mm. <laughs> Hello? Oh, fuck. This is Bob Geldof. Pick up the phone, please. Well, if you get this message, your fucking driver has driven off and left me in some shithole called Long Marston in Lancashire. I've no wallet, no cards, no money, nothing. So can you get your company to send me another car here straight away? There's no number on this phone, so you can't call me, but I'm in some... Hello? 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 Shit!
We'll be seeing George Michael a little bit later in the meantime. We had another Michael, Michael Jackson! Woo! Michael Jackson, the only man who picks his nose from a catalogue. <laughs> now that's funny, that's funny. Hey! Hey! Don't stand too close to the lights, mate, you might melt. Hey! Hey! Jiba, can I give you a fucking drink? Oh, boo be good. Uh, no. Well, you're a bloody god. As if an Irishman refuse a drink. Mm. Ice, man. I'm so glad there's a bob here this year. Like the late look. It's harder to get right, but the face is working well. Of course, Bob's got a face like the underside of an Irish bog. Thank you. What were that nose and those bags? Anyway, listen. Catch up with me later, yeah? And we can warm up and start me up, or rat trap if you prefer. Hey, is that Mick Jagger? Eh? Oh, spare some change, Look, mate. I told you I don't have a penny, right? <coughs> Excuse me, mate, are there any taxis around here? Oh, they're all inside, mate. Uh, Austin Powers, Pamela Anderson, Yasser Arafat. I'm running tonight if it's essential, but only if I can get me... Damn cross of office at the fan belt! Oh. Jesus Christ! Bless you, my child. Oh, me shit in neck! Yeah, whatever. How much to Glasgow? Glasgow? Well, this time of night, not less than 450. 450 pounds is two hours up the road. It's six hours for me there and back, plus petrol for the Pokemobile, plus overtime, and this costume costs 20 quid. Be a shame to waste that. And it's all payable in advance, pal. Yeah, listen, I'll give you a thousand pounds when we get there. I just don't have a penny on me now. <laughs> well, you can try one of the others, mate, but uh, this is their big night. Anyway, why do you want to leave now? It's the final. I lost your nerve, have you? Too much competition, <laughs> you chicken shit. <laughs> you ancient rockers always do well, so you'd be better off staying, if you ask me. You could be walking away with a star prize of 500,000 in cash with many other superb prizes for all our lucky finalists. Let's grab some change, man. Look, fuck off. Oh. Oh. We are Queen Victoria. We are Queen Victoria. Oh. Yeah, that's smashing. <laughs> George Michael's in the gent, so we've got to be pleased named you. Next? Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I remember you from last year. Up the stairs and take a seat. Next? <laughs> Noddy Holder? Bob Geldof. Oh, yes, of course. That's marvellous. They want to save you till last. Next. Oh, hello, dear. What a star, ladies and gentlemen. What a star. This is for England's stately home home to help John. Well done, sir. Well done. Now, come on, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see more life in a tramp's vest. Now, you know how it works. He who gets the loudest cheer shall be our champion... This year. Thank you, love. Yes, come on, let's hear it for the People's Puffter, El John. <laughs> rock on, son, rock on. Now, we have just two performers left in the rock and roll category tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Will they be the ones to get you oh, cheering if you scream to your blue? Someone's dream will come true. And it is none other than the greatest rock statesman of our time, the Boomtown Rats. 